We've seen a few ESP32 CAM based projects recently in Elector Mag and on the Elector Labs platform, so I thought it was time to have a look at one. Unboxing is a bit of a misnomer here, as the one I received in the mail came with very scanned packaging. Just an anti static bag, not much larger than a matchbox. Inside the bag is the development board itself, the tiny camera, and a pinout diagram. You can easily find the pinout diagram online, so that may be a bit of a waste, but the folded paper did take up the bulk of the packaging, so I suppose it protected the components during handling. While the board houses an ESP32S module, it's not made by Espressif, but it's rather a generic item with the product model ESP32-CAM silkscreen on it. You have to be careful though as there are many variants of this generic board from different suppliers so you have to do your homework and make sure that the board you get meets the specifications you require. The one I have came with the following. An ESP32S chip module on board giving you both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capability. The separate OV2640 2 megapixel camera. A micro SD card slot. 9 general purpose input output pins or GPIOs for your own applications, an onboard LED flash for use in either photos or videos, 32 megabit onboard flash memory, 520 kilobytes of internal RAM and another 4 megs PS RAM. It can be programmed in various environments, my favorite being the Arduino IDE, but you can also use the Espressif IDF IoT development framework, MicroPython, JavaScript, Lua or Platform IO IDE in VS Code, for example. The board has pin headers on the underside, making it breadboard friendly for when you need to prototype and develop on it. Note that on the board that I have, there's no USB connector, so in order to connect it to a PC to program it, you're going to need a USB to TTL serial converter board, such as an FTDI or CH340 adapter. Without one of these close at hand, I just used an Arduino Uno board with the Atmega 328P chip removed from the socket. Because the board is breadboard friendly, I was able to just stick it in a small breadboard and have the Arduino outboard with some simple jumper wires hooked up to get it up and running. If running on a breadboard makes it too difficult to get to the reset switch, you can of course turn the board over and use female jumper wire connectors on the underside instead. In the Arduino IDE, I needed to add the ESP board libraries and then select the relevant board. Normally, you would choose the AI Thinker ESP32 CAM. Once this was done, I was able to select the camera web server example from the IDE, flash that to my board and get the server up and running, showing me what's on the camera and allowing me to take video and snapshots right over my own Wi-Fi network. As I said, there are many variants of this board and in the Elector store, there's an even more versatile board available as it comes with the CH340 USB to TTL serial converter chip and a USB connector, so there's no need to mess around with FTDI boards or, in my case, use an Arduino to do the trick. So, it was relatively painless to get up and running, and even easier if you get one with the USB connector on board. So the only question remaining is, what will we make with this?